20 tricks which can make anybody an Excel expert. Yes, exciting, isn't it? Let's see how we can do it. First is to click and select all. Yes, I know all of you remember that control A shortcut key. Yes, that makes selection easy, but this makes easier. For example, you're working on the sheet and you're selecting multiple times and now you need to select all of them. So rather than going to your keyboard, you can quickly go in the corner and press click. There you go. Select it. Isn't it fast? So when you are on the sheet, it's rather faster to go on the corner and click it. Open Excel files in bulk. Yes, a lot of files, if you want to open them, it's very easy. Just go to the desktop or the place where you've saved them. Select all of them together like this and just press enter. Select and enter. The moment you will enter, all of the files will open and you can see up buzzing the name. So yes, all of them are open now. How to shift between two Excel files? Yes, control tab. I know all of you remember that there's an alt tab, but remember this thing that alt tab takes you through all the files which are open, irrespective of those are Excel or not, but control tab will take you in between the Excels only. Let me show you. So now there are certain files which are open. So I'm pressing control tab, control tab, and you can see the Excels are moving only. I am rotating myself in between the Excels not among the other files. So that is easy for us. Control tab. Just remember this. How to create a new short menu. Yes, quick access toolbar. Let me show you. We all of us have it, but we can use it more conveniently, more fast to add the choice values over there, the choice options. So we have to go to the quick access toolbar, more commands, and there you go. You find a lot of commands over there. So you need to find the area where from you will select. So I will select probably, let's say, uh, auto sum, which is already there in my sheet. Click. No, it's already there. So I cannot add it. So, okay. So I'll choose another one now, which is not there. So let's say, for example, where's the cut, cut, cut. Yeah, there it is. So what I'll do is I will add cut to be put there. So I will click add and it's there. So once I press OK, it is visible over there. So I can quickly use this cut in my work that I'm doing. So it's making my work very fast. Adding a diagonal line in the cell. Sometimes most of us need this diagonal line to cross some cells. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have been working with the cells on, on the lines on the borders, but this is different. So if you go on to the alignment and click, this is the format cell and over there in the borders, you can see this box. So in the box, in the middle, if you click, you will see that there will be a diagonal line and this is exactly going to be reflected in your Excel sheet. So let's see how this cell looks like. Now I believe you can imagine what can be the utility of this particular diagonal line. Then we can add more than one new columns or rows. Yes, it is irritating to click one line and add another one and then going for another column, a row by selecting, clicking insert, then insert and then insert. It's really irritating. So the easier way I will go and show you how you can do it. So rather than going for insert and using this menu like this, uh, let me remove this line and let me highlight one of these lines so that I can see how it's impacting. So let's say, for example, I choose a certain number, for example, eight rows I've selected, you can see. So I will simply go and insert. So it has added above this eight rows. So it's faster to add quickly uh, a number of rows which we need to be added. Then speedy move of copying data. Yes, copy and then going to the other place and paste, no no more need of this. Whenever you go on your Excel and you select a column or a row, there is a plus sign you can see. This is the plus sign. And when it is, click and drag it. And there you go. No need to copy and paste. You can simply drag and drop. It is simple, isn't it? Then speedy delete blank cells. Yeah, that's also very important. Some default data uh, will be blank and for various reasons, it's, it creates problem for you to calculate. So the best way to do is filter it. So whenever there's something blank and you need to clear it and make it really blank. So you have to go and select from the filter, go down and there you go, it's blank. So select it and now I've, I will use the quick access toolbar to select visible cells only. So I will delete them now. So that's how I can quickly access, delete and use this tool. Yes, wake search with the wildcards. Yes, we can use wildcards as well. Let me show you how you can use them in your cells. 
So for example, we have certain data over here, some Ali, some Mark. Uh, so let me highlight Ali for differentiation. So yes, let's go and uh, you all know this is control F. So you go there and you find certain uh, character. So I, I remember that there was uh, AL, but nothing, I don't know, at the end. So AL, and at the end, whatever is starting with AL, it is visible here. Then I will use static with mark. So you can see all the mark is appearing. So static means that whatever is before mark, I don't know, uh, before K. So I have to include it there. So static is for including the whole character and star is for the digits. Let's move. Generate a unique value in a new column. That's also very interesting. So let me show you how you can generate a unique volume. All of you must have used this filter. Today we are going to use advanced filter. That is also very convenient. So click on it, copy to another selection and we'll copy unique numbers from this file. So unique records only. We'll select this file and copy to this column. And there you go. It has copied only the unique numbers from this. So this was uh, a quick illustration of advanced filter. Then we have input restriction for data validation function. So there are certain co columns or rows where we need to validate the data. We need to make sure that the users, whatever they enter in the sheet, should be a certain range or number. So let's say, for example, we have an age uh, constraint we want to put here. So simply you will go to the data tab and data validation, click there and select whole numbers, whole numbers and ignore blanks. That's very important that it's not applicable on blanks. Then between, let's say, for example, the data should be between 18 and 60 years of age and anything outside this range should not be accepted. So let me put some sample data over here for example, 19. So it is between the range, yes, accepted. Mm, 59, that is also within the range of 78. This should not be, and there you go. Excel will say that it's not a valid number and not within the range, so enter the correct number. So that's how you can quickly validate your data when you get input from the users. Fast navigation with control plus arrow button. Yes, when you are on your Excel, it's very easy to move with a control and an arrow. You see, I can move with a control and an arrow across the valid sheet. So you can easily go to the other end of the sheet with a control and an arrow. It makes fast to navigate. Then transpose data from one row to one column. That makes a data representation different. Let's say how we can do it. So we have certain data selected and we need to put it there. So first we need to copy it. So select it and press copy. And then select the place where you want to pull it down, paste, and there is one option, transpose. Click on it and the data will be pasted in a different dimension. So this gives you an opportunity to analyze the data differently. It's the same data, but presented in a different way from rows to the columns. Hide the data thoroughly. I know all of you know how to hide the data. Let me show you how you do it. For example, if you have a sheet and you hide a C column by going in the options hide, you can see anyone can find it out that there is something hidden in between, yes. But there's another way from which no one will figure it out that it's hidden or not. So just select the data and simply go to the number tab and open the cell format and go to the custom and in the type you have to put semicolon three of them and that's it now your data is hidden but you can see it if you click on the data in the formula bar there you go so you can see in the formula bar your data but anyone who will see the data will not be able to really see this because it's hidden but thoroughly hidden then we have to compose text with and there are certain formulas that you use um, to concatenate, for example, is equal to concatenate. It's long formula, etc. Just forget it. Let's make it easy. Just select the first one, then AND sign, and then go to the other one, then AND sign, and then to another one. So we have captured three cells in one. With only the AND sign, it's faster rather than going for the formula, etc. It makes life easier. 
then transform in the case of the tax. Yes, there are some formulas you should really, really remember. Like for example, uh, upper, which makes the data uppercase, all of it. And then, then, then there is um, another one that you can say lower, that makes all the data in the lower case. So you can select and make it lower. But this is not the ideal condition. So ideal condition is that it should be caps the first character and then the normals small. So you'll simply write proper and then text. It will make it perfectly as we want it. There you go. So upper, lower and proper. These are the two commands. Then we have input value string with zero. That's interesting that when an input value starts with zero, it is normally not visible. Excel doesn't show it. For example, let me put some numbers over here, zero, 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 and uh, one, two, three. So it will show only one, two, three, zeros are not visible. If you want to see the zero, you will have to go click and single quote, not double quote, but single quote. So when you press the single quote, put zeros as much as you want and Excel will show them. That's a short key, single colon, to show the numbers and of course the zeros behind them. Then speed up inputting complicated terms and autocorrect, yes. So let me show you how autocorrect works. So go to file and then options. In the options, there is one proofing. So in the proofing, you can find this autocorrect option. Click on the autocorrect and there you can add something that you want to make it fast and uh, don't you don't have to write but Excel will write rather. So you whenever you write SQ, Excel will write Suleiman Ali Qureshi. Add it, press OK. There you go. Now whenever I will write SQ, Excel will automatically complete it and understand that I want to write Suleiman Ali Qureshi. So such complicated words which you want Excel to write it for you quickly, you can make it fast with the help of autocorrect. Then we have one click to get more status. Yes, most users know how to check the data status in the bottom of the Excel sheet, but let me show you how you can make it fast. Let me delete this first and then select it. And in the bottom, you can see a lot of um, status like what is the sum of this selection, count, average. You can add more as well if you click right. And there you go. There are a lot of other things like you can see the statuses. Uh, so for example, let me add something from over here. Uh, minimum, maximum. So these are the ones I want to see on the, in the bar. So you can see in the status bar, you can see more things than only the count or the sum. Rename the sheet using double click. Yes, most of the user, when they go in Excel and want to change the name of the sheet, they go right click and rename and then write it. Yes, but there's a faster way to do that. Just go on the Excel name and double click. You can see and write. That was it from my side and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.